In this tutorial we're going to learn how to export a Final Cut Pro project as an OMF ready for import into Pro Tools for further audio editing. First I'm going to mark the sequence boundaries, use the home key to jump to the beginning of the project, the I key to mark an in point, the end key to move to the end of the project and the O key to set the out point. Now the first thing we're going to need is a QuickTime movie for uh, displaying the final picture edit in Pro Tools. So I select File, Export, QuickTime Movie, choose an appropriate settings for your uh, picture and the appropriate destination and click Save. This process will take some time. OK, our QuickTime Movie export is completed and now we're going to export uh, the OMF file which uh, in Final Cut includes embedded media. So we select export audio to OMF. We're going to use the uh, highest quality. Well we assume that um, we've probably got 16-bit audio in this project so we'll leave this uh, bit depth as 16 bits. 48k is the standard for digital video. Uh, we want to include handles, that is, uh, underlying audio material outside of the top and the tail of the clip to, an out, to enable better edits in Pro Tools. We're going to se select 5 seconds as our handle length, and we'll include all of the crossfades, the levels, and the pans, although we won't be using levels in Pro Tools. Click OK to start the export, choose the destination, and click Save. Now this is going to build a completed, consolidated OMF file with all the media in it, so this process will take quite some time. OK, at the end of that process you can see here we are in the Finder. We have our QuickTime movie containing the picture and the audio, and our OMF file containing all the consolidated audio. Now we're going to switch to Pro Tools, and uh, if we have DigiTranslator, uh, part of the DV Toolkit, installed, we can open our OMF file directly. Let's navigate uh, to that OMF file. Here we are. Select the OMF file and click Open. Pro Tools analyzes the file and imports the data. Uh, we exported the file as a 16-bit file. We could have selected 24 bits. We should stick to broadcast wave file and the sample rate for digital video is 48k. We'll put our session inside the uh, original project folder and now we have to make uh, choices as to how the import should take place and eventually the import dialog will appear. The import session data dialog enables us to make some choices. First we can see the properties of the project. Uh, we can choose to um, copy from the source media or link to the source media. I'm going to choose copy so I've got a completely independent set of media in my Pro Tools session. There's no video in the Final Cut Pro OMF file. Each audio track in the original Final Cut Pro project will appear as a new track in my Pro Tools session. Uh, ignore clip based gain. Uh, we have the option of using uh, automation in Pro Tools to map the clip gains, but we're going to leave that so that we can create our own auto automation and uh, we're ready to go. Pro Tools imports each individual media file. Yes, the disk allocation has changed. No, we don't want a report. And here we can see uh, all of the audio tracks and Pro Tools is, gen is slowly building up uh, waveforms. Zoom out, see the whole project. We're going to import 
uh, the QuickTime video by selecting File, Import, Video. And here is that video file that we created. Click Open. And Pro Tools will ask us where we want the video material to go. Yes, we'll have a new video track. And we'll import the uh, picture editor's mix as a guide, just to check Sync. Click OK. Put the uh, audio mix in the audio files folder. And Pro Tools imports the media. Now, one thing that we're probably going to want to get onto straight away is working out what type of material is in each of the tracks and going through and carefully naming the, uh, the tracks appropriately. So we'll call this uh, imported audio uh, guide mix and then perhaps we'll go through and uh, allocate each track to a different uh, feature of the mix. So dialogue one, dialogue two, production effects, production atmos, temp music, as I believe there is a, a temp music track here. And you can see our tracks are now named appropriately. We can go through and audition the individual uh, clips in the session and decide where those clips belong on each of the uh, appropriate tracks. And there we are, we're ready to start our mix in Pro Tools, and that concludes the tutorial.